last two years, healthcare workers have been under tremendous stress. Many are even reporting symptoms of post-traumatic stress. And Nancy Wartine takes a look at the health of healthcare workers in today's workplace lessons. Well, healthcare workers have been dealing with a lot of stress, yes, but also grief, anxiety, exhaustion. I'm joined now by Dr. Jarrett Patton, who's a pediatrician and also a career coach. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me today, Nancy. So what kinds of things are you observing that healthcare workers are feeling now after this really difficult couple of years? The pandemic has shown us a lot of things that are wrong with our health system that we try to fix in real time. But the biggest thing that many health care workers that face every single day is trauma. They are faced with so much more trauma than that they were even used to because, well, you have the trauma of worrying about a pandemic and what that means for you, your family, your loved ones, and people you care about. Two, you have to, you're thinking about all of these, these people that you may have helped throughout this process, but lots of people died. And so there was a lot of times people are grieving, grieving with their patients, grieving with their patients' loved ones, and then it's time to flip the page, get to the next family who also could be traumatically suffering. So when you talk about trauma, you know, are we, to, you know, I'm imagining like post-traumatic stress syndrome and thinking that these folks in healthcare haven't even had time really to even process what they're going through. And that is one of the troubling parts of our healthcare system. Many healthcare workers constantly give of themselves. They give of themselves. It's a calling to the profession. So you feel like you are giving everything that you have almost until your tank runs dry because the demand on the healthcare system was greater than ever. So that meant you had less time available for vacations, less time for self-care, and, and even more time to be exposed to all of these traumas that happen in your everyday work life. So if uh, we work in healthcare, what should we be doing now, do you think, to sort of try to help ourselves a little bit? So if you're working on those front lines and you're trying to recover from all of the pandemic and everything it threw at us all at once over these last two years, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Self-care is the best care because you are unable to take care of anyone else if you're not taking care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. And what if you know, you're a healthcare worker and you decide you just can't even do it anymore? Do you work with folks like that that are changing careers? Yes, I've yeah. seen lots of people trying to change or modify their careers because some of the things people learn is that, you know what, I thought I was tough, I, I thought I was strong, and I am, but I still can't do it like this. So it's okay to realize that you can step away. So a modification may look like reducing your hours or making a schedule that works a little bit better with your life. Uh, you may give up a little bit of pay, but you'll gain lots of happiness mm -hmm. as a result. I think it's such an important discussion to be having, really. It's been a, you know, a rough time. It's been a rough time for so many people. And if you are feeling like you're truly struggling out there, it's okay to ask for help. Yeah, yeah. All right, great. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Nancy. And we'll be back next week with another Workplace Lessons. I'm Nancy Wertine.